Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'll be sharing with you how to take a single column and split that into four separate columns using the wrap rows function. Additionally, I'll show you how you can use the rand function to randomize your four column groups. Let's jump in. In column B, I have a list of 12 employees that I wanna separate into four different groups for a meeting. Instead of copying and pasting these names into each group, what we can do is enter equals and then use the wrap rows function available in the latest versions of Excel. For this video, we'll be focusing on the two required arguments for the wrap rows function, the vector and the wrap count. To enter the vector, I can highlight my entire column of employees. After a comma, since I wanna separate this into four different groups, I can enter the number four, close parentheses and click enter. And you see Excel has split up my list of names into four different groups. If you want Excel to randomize your groups for you, what you can do is enter the rand function. To enter that in, I'll enter equals, begin typing rand, close parentheses, and click enter. Then I can drag this function down. You can go to the data tab at the very top and select filter. And now we can use the filter dropdown to sort from smallest to largest. And you'll see Excel will use the rand function to randomize these groups. And you see the group names have been adjusted in columns D through G. If I open up the filter dropdown again and sort by smallest to largest, you'll see the groups are randomized yet again. Team, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.